What looks like an alien but it tastes amazing? This guy right here. Today I'm going to show you how to cook octopus in two ways. One is going to be grilled and the other is going to be with pasta. Each of them serve its own purpose, but both of them are amazing. I'm also going to show you how you store octopus in the fridge and make it last as long as possible. So the first thing you have to do is to prepare your octopus. For this you're going to need bay leaves, pepper, onion, vinegar and of course the octopus. Things are really simple here. Locate these big alien eyes and cut right above them. Once you do that, you have to cut at the end of the octopus bag. That middle part is useless, so just throw it away. Now for the last part, you have to remove the mouth. You do that simply by pushing it away with your finger. This part is also useless, so just throw that away. And you're done! Your octopus is now ready to be cooked. Easy, right? For the next part, you have to take one big onion and cut it into big chunks. You don't have to cut it thin because we only want to take the flavors out of it. Once you do that, into a large pot over medium heat, add your octopus in there, along with your onions that you cut earlier, 1 teaspoon or 5 grams of black peppercorn, 2-3 to three bay leaves, 1 cup or 240 grams of water, and 2 tablespoons or 40 grams of red wine vinegar. Close the lid and let it simmer for around 1 hour. After about 1 hour, Take your octopus out, let it cool down and divide it by cutting every one of its legs. This is going to help to store it better or prepare your next dishes. I'm gonna use half of it for my pasta recipe and the other half I'm gonna grill it. Remember that I was gonna tell you how you store octopus in the fridge. The only thing you have to do is pour half of that liquid of that pot into a container and dip your octopus in there. This will keep the octopus moist and make it last in the fridge for up to one week. Now let's start with our first recipe, this beautiful and creamy octopus pasta. For this you're going to need some pasta, pepper, salt, cinnamon, tomato, garlic and tomato paste. The first thing you want to do is cut your octopus. I like to cut them into small bite chunks because I want to have the feel of the octopus in my mouth. But you can cut them in whatever size you want. After that, take 2-3 to three cloves of garlic and chop them fine. You can also use the garlic press if you want. And lastly, take one tomato and chop it into small cubes. Now into a big pan over medium-high heat, add 3 tablespoons or 60 grams of olive oil and throw your octopus in there. Cook it for 2-3 to three minutes or until it develops a nice color. Remember, you don't have to overcook it because it is already boiled. Once it has got a nice color, Add your garlic in there and let it cook for 1 minute. After that add 1 tablespoon or 20 grams of tomato paste and cook it also for 1 minute. Once the tomato paste is dissolved into the oil, add your chopped tomatoes in there along with some salt and some pepper. Don't be shy with the salt because the pasta will also cook into the pan. After that cook the tomatoes for 5 minutes or until softened and then add 3.5 cups or 800 grams of water half a teaspoon or 4 grams of cinnamon and 250 grams of pasta. Here I'm using macaroni, but you can use any small shape pasta you like. Cook the pasta until al dente and then add the other half of that octopus juice in there along with 1 tablespoon or 20 grams of olive oil. And this is how you make the most amazing octopus pasta. Before we continue with the other recipe, if you enjoyed this video so far, hit that like button to boost the algorithm and subscribe to make our community bigger. Now let's get to our last recipe, the grilled octopus. Normally I would have grilled the octopus in my gas grill, but as you can see the weather had different plans. So I'm going to cook it into a grilled pan. Get a grilled pan into medium high heat and add 1 tablespoon or 20 grams of olive oil. The octopus is already boiled, so we only want to give it a charred flavor. Into a medium-high heat, this will take us only a couple of minutes. Once the octopus is ready, transfer it into a plate and heat it with some salt. You can also add some olive oil and red white vinegar on top. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for staying till the end and see you in the next one.